We study materials for the same reason we study science, in order to fight off alien invasions. Aliens are constantly trying to eliminate the human race, and the study of materials is part of the scientific effort in preventing human extinction. It isn't anything from this planet. How do we know that? Because the Chinese have sampled it. It's made of a material that doesn't exist in the periodic table. It's literally not of this Earth. The only element they've been able to identify is Lorentzium. Lorentzium? You gotta stop tapping. You, you're tapping, you're the loud one. Looking at the grid patterns, it's something in the neighborhood of solar paneling, uh, communications paneling, maybe some kind of uh, communication unit. Communications? <laughs> Who's communicating what? The first way we classify materials is based upon the chemical bonding involved using the Van Arkel Ketelaar triangle of bonding. Both this and the electronegativity values are found in your data booklet. By plotting a compound on the triangle for both its electronegativity difference and the, elect and the average electronegativity, we can determine the type and degree of bonding involved. A numerical value of percentage ionic character of the bond is given by dividing electronegativity difference by 3.2. Here are two examples of worked answers. The second way to classify materials is based upon their physical properties. Metals are materials consisting of cations in a free-flowing sea of electrons. The mobile electrons allow for higher heat and electrical conductivity. Electron movement accommodates changes in lattice, so the material is flexible, making it malleable and ductile. It has a low permeability due to its dense packing. Ceramics are a mixture of ionic and covalent bonding. Covalent bonding holds electrons in place, preventing electrical conductivity. Ionic bonding prevents ions sliding past each other, making the material brittle. The material can be porous due to gaps in the structure. Polymers are covalent molecules with strands held together by weak intermolecular forces. Hence they have low melting and boiling points. Composites consist of fibre in a surrounding matrix. Their properties can vary depending on their constituents. 